Hello guys and welcome to the third part of the MVVM shopping list tutorial series. In this part we will create the shopping repository, the shopping view model and the view model factory which I will explain what this is for when we implement it. First of all I want to organize our project structure a little bit more. So I want to create a package for all of our data classes. Then we will put um, the shopping item, the shopping database and the shopping DAO inside of that package. That is fine, we can click on refactor. Then we click again on our data package, create a new package, which I call repositories. And I create another package, which I call DB for our database stuff and I will drag the shopping DAO and the shopping database inside of our DB package. We click on refactor again and inside of our DB package I want to create a package for all of our entities even though we only have one entity this is a very good practice to do in your projects. And I will put the shopping item entity inside of that package. So now I want to create our shopping repository in the repositories package. For that we go on the new Kotlin file class, make sure to select class and call it shopping repository. This will take as an argument our um, database an instance of our database, private value DB is a shopping database. And inside of that repository, we want to implement the methods for our, implement basically our database methods, which we defined in our shopping DAO object. And inside of that repository, we want to call them basically and provide these methods later on for the view model. So the view model can call the methods from the repository. The first method will be our absurd method. Make sure it is a suspend function, absurd. It will take a shopping item as a parameter and that is equal to db.getShoppingDAO.absurd and then pass the item. Our delete function is also a suspend function which also takes an item and that is equal to db.getShoppingDAO.delete with our item. And finally, we want to implement our get all shopping items function. And that is equal to db.getShoppingDAO.get all shopping items. And that's basically it for our repository. Because this is a very small project, there aren't many functions in it. But it is a good habit to implement apps in the MVVM pattern. So in bigger projects you will have a lot more functions inside the repository of course. Next I want to create the view model class. For that we create another package which I'll call UI and inside that UI package we create another package that is called shopping list. So every UI related stuff with the shopping list will go in this package even though we don't have any other stuff here, but it's, like I said, a very good practice to structure your project into several packages. So inside that package, we create a new class, the shopping view model, press enter, and that class takes as a parameter a private val repo or repository basically and it inherits from view model and we have to import that with alt enter and inside that view model class we basically insert our functions which we defined in a repository before because inside the view model we want to actually call them so we write function absurd this is not a suspend function now because inside of that function we want to actually use a coroutine to execute the code of 
our absolute function. So that takes a shopping item again. And that is equal to coroutine scope dispatches dot main, which I will explain in a sec. Dot launch. So inside of that launch block, we want to absurd our item into our repository. And now you're probably asking what this dispatches main means. Um, if we create a new coroutine, or if you if you want to start a new coroutine we have to tell Kotlin in which context we want to start it. In this case, we want to start it in the main thread. But if you if you click on main and see what other options we have here, we, have, we also have a default option and an IO option. Um, normally for database operations, we would use the IO option, but Room basically provides main safety. So we are fine to launch it in the main context. And the default context is basically for very long running and complex operations, which we also don't have here. So we are fine using the main context. And we will do the same for our delete function. We write function delete, which will also take an item. And that is equal to, basically we can copy and paste it here. Oops. and we will replace it with delete. And finally, we have to add our get all shopping items function here. That does not have to be executed in a coroutine because it's only a read operation. And that is equal to repository dot get all shopping items. So the next thing we want to do is to create an instance of our shopping view model inside of our shopping activity. But first I noticed that our shopping list package is empty because I forgot to move the view model inside of that. So we do it now. Click on refactor and also move the shopping activity to the UI package. And make sure to select here the UI.shoppinglist package. Click on refactor. And now we want to open our shopping activity. Inside of that, we want to create a new val view model, and that is equal to view model providers. Make sure it is providers and not provider because that's also available. Dot off, and inside the parentheses, we want to um, actually pass our activity. This uh, view model belongs to, and so we can just pass this. And after that, we say dot get. And now we have to insert our class of the shopping view model. So we write shopping view model colon class dot Java. But if we run this right now, then it will crash because inside of our view model, we um, have basically a constructor where we want to pass the repository. And currently we don't have the option to pass some parameters. And that is basically why we have to create what is called a view model factory. We do that also inside of our shopping list package. We create a new class and I call it shopping view model factory. That view model factory will also take our repository as parameter and it will inherit from view model this time it's provider without an S dot near instance factory. And here we have to overwrite a function, which is the create function right here. And inside of that function, we simply want to return our shopping view model with the repository as a parameter. And this is an error right now, but we have to convert it as the generic type T here. And then we can press Alt Enter and remove that warning with unchecked class because that's not important right here. So now we go back to our activity and before our view model, we will create a val 
factory and that is equal to our shopping view model factory and there we will pass the repository which we don't have currently so we have to create that too we write rel repository is equal to shopping repository that will take our database instance which we already uh, also don't have so we write just database so we instantiate our database well database is equal to shopping database and that will just take the context which we have here so we can write this and this is a very bad practice here to do this is why we will um, implement dependency injection later on because we don't want to instantiate basically our database repository view model factory or all of our objects here because that make them dependent on our shopping activity so if we want to remove the shopping activity or change it then it will also change then we also have to change basically all of the objects we instantiate in here so that's better to um, have a global place where we instantiate all of our objects and then just pass them from there but for now we will be fine finally we want to actually pass the factory to our view model because currently we don't tell the view model provide us that we want to pass a repository to the view model to do that we go here and pass as a second parameter or a factory and that's basically it so that's everything i wanted to show you if you like this video please comment below and leave a like that will really help me to improve my content and also if you have any questions don't mind asking them in the comments and i will see you in the next video have a good day bye bye